How's it going to YouTube? Uh, well, today we have uh, something that I want to show you guys. I just picked up, but also I want to complain a little bit. I um, on my property here, we we're trying to put a fence, and uh, getting estimates and estimates and whatever, and it's it's running about fifteen to eighteen thousand dollars to do so, and that's not really the that big issue. The issue is. Um, after speaking with the city, the city said that I have to leave 16 feet of each side of my property open. So if I'm going to put a fence, I have to leave 16 feet from each side. Not 16 inches, not 2 feet, no, 16 feet from each side of the, the fence or each side of the road. So, uh, not sure why. <laughs> and I was talking with uh, the inspector and he's, uh, I, saw, I said, I thought it's a free country and he's like, well, it's not. So I guess we're, uh, I'm screwed. So uh, I don't know what to do at this point if I'm going to put the fence and uh, just deal with it. Like some people said on Facebook, if you guys follow me on Facebook or not. Again, it's 15 grand. I don't want to uh, take a chance with $15,000. But anyway, uh, let's get to this. Uh, this is something that I've been looking for for pretty much two years. Uh, no exaggeration here, it's two exact years. Uh, so, uh, Chuck, you're probably gonna like this. Uh, but yeah, every time I've seen this available, by the time I go to the check out, uh, put it in cart and check it out, it's sold out. So. I was able to find this a couple weeks ago, uh, I would say about a month ago, actually. I bought it on layaway, I uh, got it from Bud's gun shop. Bought it on layaway, I uh, paid like a couple hundred dollars down, and uh, I was buying the Tavor at that point, and I was buying uh, the Chris Vector and a couple other things, so I didn't have the fund available right away. And uh, I just did last week, so I paid for it, and here we go. Uh, again, if you guys watch my channel, you know that I am a big fan of 1911s. This is one I did not have, so we'll, we'll kind of go over this here quick. Do an unboxing, as they say. Comes with, of course, the painted shell here. Uh, what, and what did this shoot? So Chris tried it. Doesn't tell you what. Ammo. Some companies will tell you what kind of ammo they shot. This did not. Another one of those is going to go to the drawer where all these go to die. I think I have like I know, a couple hundred of these fuckers here. Warranty card. Congratulations on your investment. Don't forget to register. Smith & Wesson has one of the best warranties and customer service ever. <clears throat> comes with the wrench or whatever uh, you actually gonna need this for this gun so. we'll just look at it quick here so this is uh, the 1911 Smith and Weston 1911 series E E is for enhanced um, it's a full size 1911, so just look at it right here. Full size 1911. Um, got front and back checkering. The checkering is very aggressive. It's very nice. It uh, feels very good. It's not really aggressive that it'll uh, maybe eat your hand up. Uh, it might. So I'm just going to hold the gun and show you kind of the texture on my hand. Uh, you, can, you can see it's leaving an impression on the hand anyway. <clears throat> it's all stainless, as we can see. Comes with that uh, Coco Polo, I believe, grip. It's very nice checkering on it. 
uh, serrations as the scale, uh, the fish scales uh, here. Has the E for the enhance. Uh, comes, it says full size 1911 stainless steel. So it's not a low frame or anything. It's going to be on the little and the heavy side. You got those fish scales serrations on here. So this is not going to be your traditional. It does have the the uh, external extractor here, not internally. Um, but again, it does not affect anything. I know some early models, uh, not for it from the Smith and Wessons, but I had him on the Sig that this will go down, the pin will go down, and we'll end up with some jams. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of fixing to that. Just the three uh, three dot sight, normal the three dot sight. They has some serrations on the top for anti glare, so it doesn't sun reflections, so on and so forth. Uh, Commander hammer, normal beaver tail safety. It's uh, just right handed or left hand side uh, safety on and off. Uh, the magazine release is checkered as well and it's a little extended. Comes with two magazines. They are, I believe, Megar, if I'm not mistaken. They're made in Italy here. It says a Ac Mag. So they're Ac Mag, made in Italy. Uh, eight round magazines they look very nice good uh, good fit and finish here on them I'm not sure what the heck is this some goo on it or something um, so let's take it apart and I'll kind of give you my thoughts on this uh, as I said before if you guys haven't watched my channel in the past I, I'm a big fan of 1911's I built them I built some from scratch uh, this freaking spring tension is so bad just try to do this normally I don't use a bushing uh, wrench or whatever but this is very hard you can't even move the bushing see so it's very hard and I tried to take this apart before here's what I came to so I'm just gonna take the slide off first tight it's very tight gun so fit and finish is good uh, or excellent uh, it's very tight slide to frame fit and then somehow it's easier that way to remove it's not really easier but we'll do this so we'll remove that guide rod here if you can see and then we'll push this back here and now we'll push the whole barrel with the damn thing so let's see if we can get this done there we go. Um, it's not really the bushing, so it, it, the bushing is 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 really uh, tight. But the barrel also is very tight. So the barrel gets in the chamber, uh, or it gets in, in uh, where it goes. It gets very tight. So now let's take it apart and take a look at parts by itself. This is actually going to be my first time to look at it. Uh, internally it's clean uh, looking at the pen here we might have an issue later on you can see the pen is protruding in the bottom so if it goes anywhere lower than this while you're shooting you might have some issues so we'll test it see uh, it does not have an external safety or uh, external firing pin safety which I prefer because the trigger gets actually would be better Full length stainless steel guide rod, with a guide rod which is good. The barrel uh, does not look to be match grade. Uh, it might be, it might not, but it doesn't look to be. The barrel is not the best quality, to be honest here. Uh, now, I've, I've seen a lot better barrels here. Uh, this is looks like a poor quality barrel. I can be wrong. Rifling is all right but just the fit and finish on the barrel uh, doesn't look to be that good so maybe you need some polishing and we'll figure out the, the tightness um, looking inside the, the frame you can see the machining you can see all the, the machining in there it's not really polished and finished and clean but again it's not a big deal Again, some machine in here you can see 
and I'm sure if I send it to Smith and Wesson we'll take care of that the hammer is MIM so it's metal injected mold and you can see that because of uh, let's point here you can see that here you can see this hole that's what shows you the mold so this hammer needs to be replaced and also you can see it right there um, beaver tail is mushy which I'm gonna have to do trigger job on this thing the beaver tail is not the best it's not uh, you can see mushy the other issue with this the hammer is down and the safety you can see up and down okay let me grab another 1911 and show you kind okay, of what the difference are So I grabbed another one here from the safe, and I only I grabbed this because I can compare these two. This is a made in the USA Springfield Armory. This is a, one of my first 1911s that I paid for my own packet. Uh, it's made in USA. It's I uh, have never I've shot it maybe a couple of times. Uh, so let's in comparison, let's take a look at the safety. Very positive. Pull the hammer. Safety is not moving really. Not like this. If we look at this. Alright. Now look at the beaver tail. Very hard. Alright. Positive engagement on it. This one. Uh, if I pull the hammer. There. So now I'm gonna have to do some trigger job and uh, get the beaver tail and the safety to be fitted. And if you don't know how to fit a 1911, it's a lot of work for me to show you. So I apologize here. Maybe I'll do a video one day uh, on the one that I'm building or another one that I'll build soon. Uh, maybe we'll do some fitting. The fitting usually process takes about two to three hours of, uh, I mean, a fitting slide to frame, pretty much you'll put the slide, which is gonna have to be like pushed in or hammered with one of those with some grease and you will start working the slide with your hand in and out on the vise. Um, your parts, the fitting, I use just a sharpened block and I'll work them out on the sharpened block both sides, file it, make sure it's clean, then everything gets whatever, if it's going to be stainless or parkerized or whatever the case, so finishing is the, uh, let's see if this works there, nope, so my take on it, it's a uh, nice gun for the money, I like the co cosmetic of it and that's the reason I bought the gun, uh, oh yeah, this bushing too, sucks, you just, uh, it's very thin you can bend it with your hand so we'll get another one uh, the barrel bushing again I would prefer to get another one they're not the best quality uh, these all are just cheap parts the stainless steel got rot is good so it's my two cents on it if you're looking to buy one buy it uh, just knowing that you're gonna have to do some work on this gun you know, to do some fit and finishing and uh, uh, some cleaning and getting the gun where it should be. Uh, I did not expect it to be that way. I mean, um, looks are good and all that. I, if I go use this gun right now, I don't think it'll function right. And uh, again, I think I know enough about 1911s to make that. Uh, assumption at this point I know some of you guys might not agree with me but that's too bad it's a free country unlike uh, 
with the city here where I live. If you don't agree with me on that part, but it is a free country. It is a free country, and I have the right to my opinion. I don't like it. I I like the gun. Don't get me wrong. I just don't get the. Why couldn't they put some better parts as far as the hammer, the safety, and um, the beaver tail. Mainspring housing is awesome. Checkering is awesome. Scales are awesome. Fit and finish is awesome. So again, pros are more than cons. The cons you can fix uh, on this gun, so it's not a big deal. That's all I have to say, guys. Enjoy the weekend, and uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Please share, favorite, and if you have any questions, any comments, please put them down below, and I'll do my best to get back to you right away. Thanks, guys. Bye.